Right, it's time for a Gwen game. I will be playing this one against a Tarek here, which I have not played against in a long time, but I know it needs to be respected. <laughs> the one who wanting that... Ch oh, they're spicy invading as well. Uh, that man's going for it, eh? I was planning on starting Raptors here, but I think I should still be able to do so right, surely. Surely. <laughs> I wanted to get the Raptors for the uh, XP start. Let me just ditch that plant and hope for the best. I could have done it a little bit later to hold on to my stack there before I started the camp, but that's fine, I guess. Just hit that, the closest one to get it off quickly, and then we snip it together. Should be relatively good. Next queue finishes the camp here, basically. All right, is there going to be a red buff that's gone? It's not. I don't know how this Tarek is going to play this. I will have to be very careful with that. We will see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to try to hold my smite for red buff. Normally, I'd smite the big Krug here, but like... If my man's going to go late invade me or something, I uh, <laughs> I prefer to have smite for the red buff, you know? Although, I'll take a bit of a clear speed hit. I don't really mind. Okay. I'm worried, man. Like, this Tarek could definitely go for me here. This is one of the prime opportunities for him to just absolutely murk me. Uh, at Elo of this game, by the way, is we're talking uh, emeralds, so you guys are aware. All right, let's just get the rest of that out of here. That should be okay now, I think. Because I think from this point, it's pretty hard for him to actually... Oh, he's mid lane, yeah. 12 CS, yeah, okay, he's going to be here. Perfect, we're good. As Gwen, surviving that like initial clear and getting your scaling is all you really want. This champion skills like an absolute god. So, yeah, getting through an early game against what is definitely a stronger early game champion. I definitely have to respect 1v1 opportunities from him. Is very, very good for me. Probably danger ping that now. He might, like, go for a, a non-full clear cheese gank here. There's that option. Gotta be on his on his crux by now. Danger ping again. They really start gotta start placing some wards like <laughs> this is not looking good. Uh mid lane perhaps. Ah, okay. I have to actually respect him here, unfortunately. No matter how much I would love to fight him here, I simply cannot. Because mid lane diff. Bot lane priority diff as well. I just have to respect them here. They have absolutely zero wards on bot lane. This is some scary stuff. I would have fought the Tarek there because I was... I think I could have done it with a level advantage. But my man had like a massive mid priority. So I can't really go for that, right? Okay. There's also level 3 going into that. I'm just gonna chill. My raptors are up. My Krugs are gonna respawn soon. It's fine. My mid laner is getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm kinda chilling though. Like, for me, this is fine. Getting a decent clear setup here. I'm definitely not uh, worried about this. This is good for Gwen. Getting the XP clear is kind of what I want to do here. Might be able to go for a top gank, though. Level 5. Oh. That's real annoying. I don't want to fight this at all now. Because he has gotten his recall in and I have not. So it's not really worth it for me. Alright, let's do this. Uh, let's get boots as well. Let's go for bot side. They're not diving Tom Kench, are they? Are they? R really? That worked? I, sh I guess I should have stuck around. I didn't expect him to dive at Tom. <laughs> I mean, I guess I... Uh, sure, yeah. It's kind of like hindsight thing. I did not expect him to go for a dive against a Tom Kench. Are you serious? All right. 
Fair enough. I guess that is on me for recalling. I didn't want to go for a fight, but I never expected them to dive him. That was interesting. I mean, there, he is losing his lane 1v1 already, so there is that too, but... Damn. Fair enough. I think I just sent the dragon here, right? Surely this, this turret goes for the void grubs. Surely. It's gonna take me a little bit, but he just does void grubs. I just do dragon, I think. Interesting. I mean, if I knew they were gonna dive him, I would have stuck around, but I did not expect that, like, ever, that that would be a dive. I guess I maybe should have somehow, but I just really didn't. Fair enough. Alright, that's the dragon. Don't know if this is gonna work. My man's very much losing the trade already. Yeah, he's just absolutely dead. Okay. That's not even close. I'm just dead here. I'll leave. <laughs> this, that, that's not even a close trade, man. This Yasuo did barely any damage. Alright, good. Good, good. It's all fine. Spicy start. It's also one of those where it's like... Tarek is a much stronger early game jungler. Like, even this argument doesn't make any sense because Tarek is significantly stronger of a jungler early on than Gwen is. So even if he's like, not... I mean, he's obviously being serious in his mind, but it doesn't really make any sense consider considering he still lost his lane one to one before the Tarek even did anything at all on top lane, I believe. So there is that. But, you know, it is what it is. Right, they're gonna dive him. He's dead. Perfect. I mean, this is an illegal dive if I've ever seen one. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Perfect. There you go. I'm not doing that again. Like, obviously, I see that dive coming from a mile away with Tarek on level 6. The only reason I didn't expect the last dive was because the Tarek was, like, level 4, and I didn't think they were going to go for it with a, without Tarek ultimate. That just didn't make any sense. But I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna not do that against a Tarek who's literally level 6, because that's just very obvious dive, uh, d dive angles. All good. My, my Yasuo is getting absolutely demolished 1v1. It's not even close. Even when I ganked, he did basically no damage to the point where, like, yeah, this guy just survives anyway. So there is that. Let's just get the cannon real quick, make sure she doesn't get any push off. I guess I could take the next wave as well, perhaps. I don't, like, honestly, I'm not still not 100% sure how much damage I should be expecting from this champion myself. So, there is that, I guess. I don't want to give her a turret plate for free. She could technically go invade me here. Definitely possible. But for now, I can just keep clearing. My main goal is to finish this Nashor's Tooth here, so I'm just going to work towards that. Gwen is a very scaling champion. You're not playing this champion to win the early game. Nicely done, buddy. Very good. That is what we like to see. I'm not losing. I'm not playing this champion to win the early game. Wait. Level up, hit the plant. This is fine. Clear the vision, make myself known there so that he doesn't try anything and my bot lane can just chill and CS. Nah, he's just completely dead, isn't he? Um, that's awkward. That is actually really awkward. My man has committed seppuku. Unlucky. So silly, man. He just hard greeted for turret. I literally cannot even contest it. <sighs> Alright, fine. You win. You get the Void Grubs. 
Dude, why did my Yasuo decide to hard greet for one third blade? Like, excuse, <laughs> excuse me, bro. <laughs> That's not how that works. Oh, no, nah, this is just a complete rip to the Void Gobs, isn't it? Unlucky. All right, cool. I'm not even going to bother. Like, there's no point. I'm just going to take my reset because I have a Nash's Tooth. I think out of base, I still have to sprint top lane because I feel like a dive might be coming on again soon. So I got a big power spike item. If I see Tarek on this ward right here, I'm insta sprinting top, but I'm kind of like halfway sprinting top now because I... Yeah, there it is. I'm I'm literally as fa going there as fast as I can now. They're gonna go for the dive. We know this. This is pretty much obvious, right? They don't go for the dive. Okay. Well, I guess I go for Raptors then. No worries. That's why I ran top though. Like covering that dive potential is still very significant, so it's fine. I have a feeling this guy wants to contest a dragon or something that he doesn't go for the dive there. Dead. Goodbye, buddy. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Solid kill. I think that was flash as well. Yasuo did a good job there landing the ult and everything. If he lands that, it's just free. But, you know, Ghost activated to get in range. Pretty happy. Let's clear my bot side camps. Little bit, like, low on health here. But I do have to kind of cover the Tarek movement. I know there's a dot here, but I'm still going to... Over a bit of Tarek movement. I think he might Dragon. But I don't know if I can actually contest that. Are they going to go for a dive? They are going to go for a dive. Alright. I mean, I lose Dragon here. This, this, this priority difference is kind of wild. Alright, fair play. Just gotta play carefully. <laughs> That's all I can do. I'm just gonna chill. It's all good. Let's get double M tome here. Keep moving. I mean, I'm expecting this dragon to die any second now. This dragon is just completely gone. I wish I could contest more of this, but I, I really just can't. Like, the priority difference in mid is immense. Immense. To the point where if I go for any of these things, like, I can't. Like, I can get some kills in mid, as you see. Like, I can, but for the most part, this Ambassador just had all the control with priority rotation and everything. So I can't really risk that. What happens next? She, gotta, she can't dive me, right? Just completely one shot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go for the Rift Herald, I guess. Excuse me? That's annoying. Mid lane's missing. I need to uh, make them aware of this. Okay, mid lane's back mid. They really need some more vision bot lane. Just gonna take my time to do the Rift Herald right now. Take the chance for the objective. Oh no. Good damage. My man's dead. That's also good damage. Whew. Gwen is an absolute monster of a champion, honestly. Oh, this damage is wild. I landed an insane double snip on them, which just completely chunked them. Like, absolutely chunked them. This champ is really, really, really strong. I should still be able to do this Rift Herald here. Let's finish this. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. I have an entire jungle clear that's up. I'm just going to do it straight away. I've, there, there's no other objective up right now, so I might as well spend my time just doing my camps and getting the next reset in there. Uh, ideally, Shadow Flame 2400 gold is what I'm going for, so... Nice. That's very good. That's what we want to see. Nice. 
That's a double kill. They do have to be careful on the midler rotation, perhaps. Right, Smite is also finished. We're getting really strong here. Like, I'm in an absolutely godlike position right now. That's a bit iffy. Wait. Isn't Riven just dead here? <laughs> oh, man. That's rough. I was looking at that. I was like, wait, that's not going to work, is it? It didn't. Lovely. Ah, oh, Abessa's dead. Nice. My ganks are paying off big time, man. Like, I'm winning these fights, getting these picks off. We're just keeping it consistent for ourselves, right? We're completely chilling. Let's go here. Ah, oh, he did just clear this. Okay. No worries. I'll just yoink all your small ones. Why not? I think here I just go bot side. Yeah, this is up. Good. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate, actually. Let's get rid of the wave and leave. I already ulted, so it's fine. I might as well shoot the wave out. That is a TP use. That's okay. See if I can get mid lane quickly. I don't know if I make this in time, but I'll try my best. And a ghost here. Ah, uh, this is the teleport. It's very depressing, man. Ah, oh, the teleport. Man, 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 man. That's bro that's brutal. What I don't understand, like regardless of the teleport, what I don't what I don't understand is why my Lulu sticks bot lane there. Because there is no need, no reason not to rotate with me. I did have way too much gold to consider that. Like, I would have been fine against these, uh, against just Sindra Yumi. But the second I teleport came in, I was absolutely doomed. That was really, really, really bad for me. I did not take that into account whatsoever. Okay. That is a very interesting TP. Not sure if that's going to work, but we'll see. It might, but I don't think it will. Yeah, that's exactly kind of what I expected. Uh, the TP from Riven is so brutal there, man. Please, like, actually, please. I need this. I need you to work with me here. I, I just died to a very good TP. I'm, just, I'm quite sad about it, to be fair. Gonna have to 1200 smite. He does also have a 1200 smite. That's like 1600 will, will Q smite. Good, it got it. Good. Dead. Just absolutely deleted. It's perfect. My vein just ran off the mid lane. Uh, <laughs> pain. That is so unlucky, man. I think Riven should have died there. Vayne walks up, Vayne stuns Riven into the wall, Riven dies. It would have been that simple. It's okay. I'm not going to overchase if Vayne doesn't want to participate. It's fine. I have an entire jungle clear up to go for here, so I'm chilling. I do still have a Rift Herald that I need to use within like the next 50 seconds, so there is that. But I mean, ideally, I'd like to hit one of the tier 2 side turrets. That would be great. I think Yasuo wins that. Oh, yeah, Riven missed it. Yasuo wins that for sure. Right? Actually, Riven did flash his Q and he missed the Q. Okay, yeah. Okay, I, I'll take my, my statement back. He does not win that for sure. Do I just Rift Herald mid turret here? Is that a move? I think that's a move, right? Just break the break their line? I think I should do this. I'm probably not going to get one of the side turrets with this Rift Herald, so I should just go for it. Get rid of the turret. Good. I'm just going to go backwards here. Make sure to connect with the Taric. Bounce it into the wall here. We're using the Rift Herald to zone there, basically. Dead. Perfect. We build now. Send this. Kill the Taric. Build again. 
Uh, that's a good hit there, though. It was a very nice Syndra stun. I used the Rift Herald between my teammates there to make sure that they get bounced as well. And then from there, we can uh, get a good situation. Not bad. Can you not take my camps, please? I actually need my gold here. Thank you. Oh, he actually, like, straight up. Okay, nice. Nice. Yeah, so I used the Rift Herald as a fight tool there. I already got the turret with it, and then I could use that to zone them from my vein. So I actually protect my vein a bit there at the end, which was very nice. And then we could wait, take a fight from there. This is not looking too good, actually. I have a lot of gold. I'd prefer backing, if I'm being completely honest with you. Good damage. That's what we want to see. Very good damage even. Let's go. If I get stunned one more time, I'm just going to be dead. I need to not overextend here. It's a Terra cult, yep. Not overextending here is very important. Oh, that's a one-shot. Okay. I had a good opening damage there. It's not the best follow-up with it. Why isn't she stunned into the wall? What? Excuse me, Vayne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unlucky. I'm just going to do his camps right now. At this moment in time, I just want to sweep past all his camps, basically. Okay, good. Get everything. I'm just getting everything now. I missed my ult or missed my Q, didn't I? Damn it. All right, it's fine though. That's fine. I got a team wide red buff, which is huge. Uh, I'm not happy with missing my thing there. That was kind of sad. Just one shot him real quick. Goodbye. I knew he was going to go for his croc. It was really obvious. So just obviously go for the one shot there. Uh, and Bessa and the rest is mid. So I can probably just go for the bolt turret for 700 gold here. Let me hit this real quick. Just gonna quickly snip out this bolt turret for 700 gold. Okay, it's getting split between me, Lulu, and Vayne now, but it's still 700 gold for the team. I have 3,700 gold, and we have a dragon spawning soon. All right, Deathcap next. Build up the AP there. AP, like we're going burst mage levels of damage on Gwen. That's kind of what you want. It's the most effective way. See a lot of Rift Maker still, but honestly, like, this Burst Mage setup is ridiculous for this champion. Okay. Are they Baroning? There's no way. Really? Nah, surely not. Surely they don't get away with it, I'm just gonna do Dragon. I don't make it to that top fight, and I can just snipe out the Dragon real quick, and then it should be okay, right? I have an extra smite, so it's fine. Uh, maybe I should have gone to this fight faster, but like, I don't know, man. Uh, my team probably shouldn't have engaged it anyway. It's fine. I'll move anyway. We should be able to get there in time. It's fine. That's good hits, I guess. Ugh, that hit me, really? That's disgusting. Gotta do Baron. Lulu shields me the entire time. I can tank it relatively comfortably. They have no jungler, so like... Got it. Don't overextend, please. Thank you. They shouldn't have gone for the fight in the first place. They should have just like zoned and I just do dragon and we get it. But this is okay, I guess. Because I also got the dragon, right? And the Baron there. Kind of fine. My team kind of won the fight by themselves, somewhat. It wasn't bad. It was not bad. But it was a bit of an overextension, though. Like, they definitely didn't have to do that. I'm going to go Mercs here to get CC reduction. Good. 
I bought my boots a bit late this game, but I just happened to have items, uh, gold for the items I needed. Like, I had death cap in one go, right? Like, I'm not gonna buy boots if I can buy a death cap in one go. That's very silly. Or I had like exact money for Nash's dude, that type of stuff. So we're just kind of ended here. Majize is optional, but I mean, for the most part, yeah, it's, it's fine like this. If I can sit on this, it's essentially a large world for 350 gold, which is really valuable, obviously. So it's a very valuable item to have there. I'm going to rotate down to the Tom Kench here and see if we can be back up while we take his camps. Eric is top. Okay, this is fine. This is looking pretty good, actually. I think Ambessa is going down here. Yeah, there it is. We just stall because the vein, the, this pushes here and we should be good. If they engage on Tom Kench, it's free. I'm just not going to show myself. I don't need to show myself here. If they take an engage, they take an engage. That's good. Syndra is dead. We're just going to go for turret now because Ambessa has half HP. We just have to snip turret down now. Don't have to worry about anything else. Good, and then we go mid. Slowly but surely, we just pressure it down. We don't have to rush into anything as a jungler there. We could just like transition to wherever is necessary. Just hit the left turret. Yep, good. Go for this one. Just wait basically a little bit until this opens up. Gonna clean this up nicely. That's a bit annoying, actually. All right, the Derek shield prevented me from, from prevented them from absolutely getting deleted by me like three at one time, but it's okay. That is it for Gwen. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure the like button below helps me quite a bit. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 22.1k damage, which considering I missed, I think one, maybe two fights is very respectable. I, with those fights participated, I definitely would have been first place, I think, but doesn't matter. It's all good. I got the dragon and all of that for that one fight that I at least remember right now. A true damage at 3,000, which is very respectable. Obviously, Vayne's going to have more with her bolts, but that's fair. Objective damage at 60.3k. That's huge. Healing done at 19.2. Damage taken at 29.6. Self-mitigated at another 29k there as well. Gold earned at 13.6k, which is the most. Actually, I had pretty good CS and everything. Definitely not bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, for the runes, Conquer healed me for about 500, but the adaptive damage is something that is a lot more valuable here. Uh, I really like going for the Conqueror for jungle, especially like lane wise. Uh, I see the better Gwen players, let's call it that, go for like first strike, for example. But I'm not a big fan of that in the jungle. I like Conqueror a lot for the extended skirmish fights. Um, so that's why I take Conqueror in jungle still, of course. Uh, we have Triumph for 1000 HP, extra gold, haste for the ability haste. I just like this to be able to get my Q off that bit faster instead of having the attack speed, which I don't really need. Uh, just getting the ability haste is nice. Lost stand for the extra damage in closer fights. I prefer this because this helps you inch out those close fights early on. And then later on, obviously, this is going to lose a value. You're not going to have the most damage on this. If you want to have something give a lot of damage, you should either go cut down or coup de gras. And those will generally give you more damage on average throughout games, but last time it's very significant damage because the damage ramps up as you lose HP, meaning that in those close fights, if you can inch out by like, let's say 20 damage, that is very val valuable for an all-in fight champ like Gwen. And then we have Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm for pure AP. Like I'm basically just looking to go very burst mage heavy build with this, because it's very, very effective on Gwen to build like that. I see I used to also build Riftmaker and like Nashus to the Riftmaker, that type of stuff. Which is not a bad build per se, but the value of going Nashus to Shadow Flame Death Cap is insane. Like your damage is ridiculous. You go into a fight, you RQ somebody with a four stack Q, and they just get absolutely one shot. Uh, the the crit hit from the Shadow Flame on low HP is huge, and that's why I like it as a second item for the most part. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, build wise here, Nashus to Shadow Flame Death Cap is usually what I go for. 
as like a core damage setup. And then from that point, you can look at things like a Zonia's very good defensive option. Uh, you can also look at Banshees if the magic resist would be valuable as well. Like those are great defensive choices, right? Obviously, you have things like Crypt Bloom, which uh, or Void Staff for that matter, which gives you the magic pen, which can be nice depending on the enemy team you are facing. Now, Gwen does have a lot of true damage, but it does, it is definitely not bad against those very very tanky opponents to go for like a good bit of magic penetration to get the rest of your damage through as well. So that is a pretty solid option. I also do like going Cosmic Drive quite a bit on this champion. I think it's a quite a nice item for for Gwen to go Cosmic Drive. Obviously, Magi's. I could have upgraded this thing into a Magi's, which is very, very strong as well. Uh, if you want to go for that, by all means do. Um, but that kind of makes the build here. Um, yeah, I think. I don't think I forgot anything. If you have a question about it, absolutely leave it below. I'll uh, do my best to help you. And with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye.